got something pretty cool today. It's a 1968 Camaro track car. Very, very cool uh, little car. I like uh, 67, 68 Camaros, first gen. And this car is actually owned by a personal friend of mine. And he bought it in 1993. And it was uh, being built as a race car then. And the guy kind of lost steam on it. And so my friend Doug bought it and turned it into uh, his little dream car. And he raced, uh, I shouldn't say race because he, he used his track car, but he added up a lot of uh, racing in uh, Portland and um, up in the Seattle area and stuff, but only on track days, you know, just having a lot of fun with it. He had Elliot Franklin. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but people that are in the uh, Northern uh, Shelby Club. Now, it's kind of interesting because the Shelby Club, this is a Camaro, but uh, my friend was part of the Shelby Club uh, back in the day, and Elliot worked on a lot of Shelbys, a lot of, uh, you know, Cobra, kit cars, Daytonas, a bunch of stuff, so he had a really cool shop uh, back in the day, and he's still around, uh, but not building as much as he used to, and anyways, my friend took the car, the complete car, the engine tranny, everything, and Ellie put it together uh, for him in uh, 2005. We've got receipts of all that stuff I'll show you uh, here in a little bit. But we'll go ahead and uh, walk around. It's actually got a nasty little 350 in it. Rev it up just a little bit. You know, it sounds great. It runs really, really rich. Obviously, idle and stuff like that. You can see it's smoking a little bit. But it's got a Muncie uh, M24 speed. And my favorite, the Ford guy, it's got a Ford 9-inch rear, rear end and it. it's got bare brakes all the way around. Uh, a lot of stuff been done to the car, so we'll walk around it here. Usually I show you the lights working, obviously they're not um, in the car. The car, you know what, to make a note of that too, the car is titled, so it could be uh, streetable. We'll actually probably drive it on the street a little bit today with hand, hand signals and different things, but it, uh, if you want to put lights and stuff, stuff back in it and take it to cars and coffee and different events, you surely could because it is title, it's got a VIN number and all that stuff. A lot of race cars and stuff, you know, they just don't have title. So this one here is actually registered and um, I mean titled up in the, in uh, Washington State. So we'll take a look here and you know, the body's actually in really nice uh, condition overall. You know, it's not rusty or anything like that. The car's never been crashed. You can see here it has C28 emblems on the front. Actually, he had had replacement fenders on it when he had built the car, and it had holes there. So I didn't like the holes there. So I put Z28 uh, emblems on it. And obviously, if you're going to take it out on the track, you're just going to take those off. Yeah, but I figured he had rather not have holes on it. The black on the hood and the grill area is all plastic plastic dip so you can actually peel that off when i got the car here it it actually had black here and you might see some pictures of it but i peeled that all off so if you peeled all this off you would do that it would look like that but i kind of like it black i mean from the sun glare and stuff and i think the car looks pretty menacing in general so you see it's obviously got hood pins I did have to put my Denmark sticker on it. You can see here, this is actually one of the best things he said he did, you know, to keep the heat out of there. And um, that relieves a lot of heat out of the engine. No windshield wipers. You can see it's got little chips and stuff right here in the windshield. You know, the body work on it, and he is my friend, but he didn't build it uh, to be perfect, so it is a little bit wavy down the sides. You can see some areas and stuff, and a lot of little paint flaws and stuff. I mean, he was building it as a as a race car, and him and his friend did it. But overall, the car is actually really, really solid. I'll put it up on my lip so that you can uh, see it. You can see here the brakes, they're bare brakes, and Elliot put those on. You know, he brought all the components down there, and, Elliot built the car. It's got uh, Global West uh, suspension on it, and you'll see a little bit of you'll see a little bit of heat cracking in these front rotors. American Racing wheels. 
Nitto tires, 2015. And we've got uh, 255 in the front and 60 ZR17. So they're definitely really sticky. But right here, just gonna go over the paint. It's got paint rub here. A little splotchiness in the paint there. It's little chips and things like that. Little thing right there. And overall, I'll show you up on my lens so you can see. You know, it just has a little bit of waviness uh, to it. You know, he did build it to be perfect. Little chips here. I love the sound of it, actually. You can see some little paint indentions and different things here. Little fish eyes and, and stuff. So, overall, the you know, it does have a nice color to it and stuff like that and it looks good you can see here made a little mistake and he uh, taped it off there and just spot painted that in but overall super clean car in general and i'm talking about body structure and, and stuff you can see back here on the brakes the road just looks really good we're going to take pictures of the uh, brakes or the tires off and everything so you can see it but we got 275 40 cr 17 on the back I just wanted to show you too and you're going to see photo the photos of this on the auction and i'll just point out a couple a couple things here this is actually all the the notes and different things so you know the color of the paint but it's got a 355 uh four bolt main got the casting number um you can just see everything roller roller camshaft you know six port uh six quart uh, baffled oil pan you're going to see it's got a lakewood uh, scatter shield um kevlar disc you know it's just all detailed out it's got an m24 speed in it and it's got all the ratios here 252 188 144 and uh one four inch nine nine inch 325 rear and with true uh true track posse so it's got a posse in it so you just notice different things vintage edelbrock victor uh junior intake manifold which is actually pretty cool you don't see those very often and it's just got two pages here. We got our bare brakes and everything on it here and what kind of oil Joe Gibbs, uh, 1550. So, you know, a lot of details here and there's actually one more page I didn't show you there, but we've got this on a PDF uh, for the auction. You can go through it in general. The engine uh, was uh, all machined, a Techcraft machine, you can see here. Um, but it's got all the details, assembly sheet, and everything on it. So um, just a lot of different uh, receipts, you know, clearances and different things. And then we also have, we have these all, all on a, uh, a little, uh, little flash, flash drive too. So if you want to see anything else, but this is uh, the receipt from Mustang Corral. Um, Elliot Franklin that I was talking about uh, earlier. Um, we did a lot of Shelby's and, and Mustangs and stuff, a lot of race cars and different things. So uh, here's what he paid. This is 05. This is uh, for Elliot um, took the car and put it all together. He even actually, after the engine was re, redone, he actually took, took it back apart, made sure all the clearances, everything was uh, correct on on it before he put it back in the car installed the tranny rear end uh built everything so this was the cost back in 05 23,583 and i've got um four pages of all the work uh that he that he did uh to the car so but again the engine was uh 
taken there. The rear end was provided already. Transmission was provided and a lot of different things in general, but uh, he built the car into the little monster that it is now. So I just wanted to show you just general receipts. Overall, we'll go ahead and uh, flip it around so you can see the other side. I kind of just put this in the, in the middle because I just wanted to show you guys overall you know, a lot of the technical stuff on it, which you'll see in pictures uh, as well. So we'll walk around it here and show you some other stuff and in general about the, the paint overall. And Here, this is actually a trunk a trunk release. We'll show you the trunk in a minute, but you can see some little scratches and stuff here, little chips that have been uh, touched up on it. You'll see a little bit of waviness in this quarter down here in the bottom. You can see those waves, but no rust bubbles or anything around the, the quarters at all. A couple little chips. You can see here, obviously, the uh, door handles were shaved, but it's a little bit wavy. here isn't shadowing it's just a little bit of splotchiness in the paint you can see some bigger chips that were touched up here on the top look at, go ahead and look at the fenders here up front they actually look pretty good overall no bubbles around down at the bottom or anything like that wheels are in good shape I don't have any caps in the back. I guess this is probably a 17, it's probably a 17.8 in the front. I'm guessing and it's probably got a 17.10 in the rear. Pretty big wheel. Some little chips in general. I put it on my lift, you'll see some other imperfections down on the bottom. But you know, again, the rockers are really, really nice on the car. Yeah. I didn't see any accident damage on it anywhere. This here is an area where it's factory lead filler. You see it's a little wavy there. Again, he wasn't trying to build a show car. He was trying to build a you know track car or something he could have fun, fun in. And I think he executed it actually pretty well. So because man, mechanically, I mean, the car is just awesome. And you know, it's just uh, it's a fun driving car for sure. Wish I could have uh, been able to take it out on the track. That would be a hoot. So, anyways, we will show you some more stuff. Hey, we're going to take a look underneath the hood here. It's got hood pins in it. So, we've actually got a lot of pictures of this engine when it was uh, first uh, rebuilt and stuff. But, overall, inside here... We're not just looking at the engine and stuff like that and here it run i just wanted to show you the inner aprons and and everything you can see where the cage is all connected in general you can see up here in the firewall you know we'll take photos of all this stuff so you can study uh different things i'm not a race car expert or anything like that i've actually sold some race cars and stuff but mostly what i've sold in the past is, is uh, some afx uh, drag cars like I you know, sold Thunderbolt and the Super Stock, uh, Hemi Dart, um, AFX Mustang. So I've had a little bit of experience with uh, drag cars more than uh, road cars. So if you guys got anything, any questions you guys want to ask or anything like that, I'd be glad to help. Uh, my friends help me out a lot in general. So, you know, really cool, cool car in general. You can see the uh, Victor Jr. intake. I thought this was pretty trick. You know, you can see the where air can go in through there and help cool off. And uh, so I've got some pictures, I think, with the valve covers off and things. You can see the global west uh, upper A arms and everything. So, and I've got that spec sheet that I showed you a little bit earlier. But we'll go ahead and uh, start it up so you can hear it run underneath the hood here. You can hear the fan on. It's got an electric fan. I do love the sound of a little Chevy small block in it. It just sounds, it sounds pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You can definitely tell it's a tight little motor. 
you know, not your run of mill little 350 in there, so. Hey, we're gonna take a look at the interior in general. You know, obviously you gotta reach in here, open up the doors. You know, obviously a uh, race car inside. The only thing stock really. It's a really nice dash pad and the uh, the dash in general, but you know, we get in the instrument cluster and all that. That was all rewired and rebuilt uh, by Elliot. It's actually got factory door panels on it, but but that's pretty much all. That's going to be Camaro. In here, you can see it's got racing seats, uh, pro car seats, um, ten point cage. But you know, if you look at the quarters and everything, really really clean. All the original spot welds and everything. So super solid car in general. You know, if you look down inside here, you know it's probably hard to see from this point. If you look down in the quarters, it's probably dark, but really, really nice inside. You can see the floors back here are in good shape. You see a filler panel back here. So that actually was probably put in there uh, just in case it was rear-ended or something like that. Gas wouldn't fly back through there, but it also uh, gives it a little bit of uh, strength back there too. And just... Uh, you know, blocks everything off. But you can see the floors actually in really good condition. Everything is welded up in general though, you know, like different holes and, and different things. But you can see across the back here, four speed transmission, quick disconnect on the steering wheel. You can see he's put 3,200 uh, miles on it. So since it's been built since uh, 05, it's about 32. Uh, 74 miles on it so and you know to start it you know fairly fairly easy you know on button you got fuel and fan and that's your start button and then a uh, fire extinguisher uh, here system in it and it's also got a, uh, a cool cool suit in it as well you can see here this is the plug-in for it and I got it in a little uh, container over on the other side. I'll show you here in a second, but overall uh, Pretty nice and uh, neat inside for sure. So I'll go ahead and show you the Other side it's gonna pop in over here on the other side real fast Just show you everything in general won't spend as much time on this side because it's pretty much the same same thing you know overall just real clean on and off off on you will see a little repair when he actually got it when and he doesn't even know why they did it because the quarter panel is actually really nice and haven't seen any damage on the inside or anything but this uh, section and he thinks they were gonna maybe do a different kind of cage or something like that and re they were removing this area here but you'll see he re -weld welded this in put a backer on it and re welded that all the way down where they had they had uh, went ahead and started cutting it and he wasn't 100 percent for sure why they did that but it wasn't from accident damage or anything like that you can see the inner inner quarter is nice in the jam so it's just something they were doing and uh so he just repaired it that way you can see here the jam looks good and it hasn't been hit or anything like that so overall in really really good shape in general so we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff i was showing you that suppression uh not the suppression the uh cool suit connection here here it is in this little little box so everything's in there and goes with the car as well so um just wanted to show you that i had that hey i want to go ahead and show you inside the trunk you just flip this little lever, and you can look back here. You know, easy to get to. You know, the general stuff you're going to see on a race car or track car. Back here, off from the battery. You know, you can see uh, racing fuel cell stuff. Everything's in in good order. This here is actually a catch can um, for the uh, rear end. So, and we'll show you that underneath in general, but. 
overall actually really solid. A lot of things have been welded up in here. You'll see the cage. It's all been welded in. So what I'm looking at here in general is just no accidents or anything like that. Everything looks really clean around the tail light panel and everything. So you can see one kind of little little dent in uh, right there. I mean, nothing major, but um, you, know, you can see all the original spot welds look good. Tail light panel from this side. You know, it hasn't been hit in or anything like that so structurally I mean the car is really really good overall you can see here on the lip it's not rusty makes you very very clean so you know he started off with a really good body I think he got this body out of uh, San Francisco area Bay Area originally so we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff Hey, we're going to take a look underneath the Camaro. You're obviously going to see the photos and stuff in the auction, but we like to do a video as well just to show you different uh, things about it. Mostly what we're looking at is, you know, the structure and, and different things. And I can just kind of poke on different things and show you different things that, you know, a picture, you can see it in the picture, but you don't really sometimes know what things are or what's that look like in general. So we'll just start here to the front, to the back. You can see it's got... Uh, disc brakes all the way around we'll look at those closer in a minute but you can see here it's got scoops that blow air to cool the brakes off big sway bar it's actually got an oil cooler remote oil cooler you can see the filter up here probably showed you that from up above it's got global west upper a arms you know the frame is actually in really 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 good shape you can see here it's got uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got Coney brakes. Or I mean, uh, Coney uh, uh, shocks all the way around. If you look here at the brakes, the spare brakes. And if you look real close here, you can see a little bit of heat checking on the rotors themselves. So that's something you'll kind of want to think about down the road, maybe change those. And the first guy on running a trailer to ask me if these were snow tires, see these holes? That's not what those are. I know everyone knows what those are, but um, you know those are wear bars. But I can see someone ask me, "Hey, are, the, are those for studs for snow tires?" Anyways, uh, we'll just walk around. Here you can see up here, and I probably got a better shot from up above. You can see the roll bar and the cage and stuff tied into the frame there. Moroso six quart oil pan, baffled. Lakewood Scatter Shield M20 four speed transmission. You see the hooker headers. Nice exhaust, actually, but the mufflers need to be replaced. You can see they, if we walk back here, they kind of exit out through the left side of the car for sound decimal. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you here is the floors. Really, really nice condition in the car. You know, the car is being reinforced with subframe connectors all welded in. All the body mounts and stuff look good. You know, he was just out uh, having a good time in the car, like racing, and you know, just like take it out on the track and, and enjoy himself. So it's actually a really, really cool car, mechanically in good shape, you know, in general. You know, but the body, you know, it's nice. You know, it has its dings and uh, little um, waves in the body and stuff like that, but he wasn't building it to, uh, look extremely pretty 
He wanted it, it to be safe and, and perform good. One thing that it's always done, actually ever since he rebuilt this motor, you can see a little oil here and the rear main has always leaked in it. He says when he drives it, um, you know, it doesn't leak, but when you park it, it, you know, it starts to drip a little bit. So um, that's one thing you want to look at, you know, possibly down the road. One of these oil fittings up here leaks just a tiny bit too. There's, it's a little bit damp, uh, not too bad. If you can see up here, I mean, you can barely, barely see it, but um, but the rear main was mostly um, where the leaks are uh, happening, but mostly when it's sitting. You'll see a little seepage in a different area, as you can see a little bit off of this um, drain plug. But overall, it looks pretty good underneath. We'll take a look back here in the back. This is one of my favorite parts because I'm kind of a Ford guy. Ford 9 inch rear end, and it is posy. You can see I'm moving. It has a 325 uh, posi. You can see the brakes in the back. You know, these rotors look actually pretty good on it, but the car has a really nice stance and a lot of nice, nice things done to it in general. You can see here. You know, usually these vent tubes don't go all the way up through the trunk, but he's got a catch can up there. I mean, when you're when you're racing a car and stuff like that, there's a lot of pressure on the engine, a lot of pressure on the tranny rear end and stuff, and heat. So it's good to have catch cans and, and different things on things. You can see here the frame rail, really really nice condition though. You don't see any accident damage or anything like that, or kinked kink frame, nothing. Very very clean. You know, fuel cell. You know, someone at, might ask about the tires too. They're actually in pretty good shape, but if you got real serious, you'd probably put new tires on it. But all this rubber, you know, here is, you know, just gets picked up on the track. You know, that it flies right off right when you start going. So, you know, really, really sticky tires. You know, tires are in pretty good shape. There's not any cracking or anything like that. But we'll just take a look at the body. You can see all the original spot welds going across here. You'll see a, a little bit of waves in the body, a lot of little chips. You can see this is just a little wavy. Some of the body work here. You can see some little filler. Overall, the car doesn't have a, a ton of filler in it. Um, but there is some uh, in it in general. You can see here, I guess what I mean is not a lot of abuse of it, a lot of little chips, different things. We'll walk across the front here. Balance all looks good. Let's look at this rocker. You can see all the original spot welds. You know, overall, I mean, structurally, it's nice. You know, but, you know, it does have some body work, you know, issues. But, again, like he wasn't trying to make it a show car or anything like that. But it looks good. I like the look of it. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at some more stuff here maybe. And if you got any more questions, uh, give me a jingle. You can make comments on Bring a Trailer. And I think this will make someone a cool uh, track car, race car. And you have a lot of fun. See you later.